experts, according to a high-level intelligence brief seen by the nation, are made up of three politicians from Nairobi, two politicians from Central Kenya, one politician from Rift Valley, a businessman from Rift Valley, a local NGO, and an international one. The suspects are accused of doing various things, including financing some protesters, mobilizing youth from slum areas, and giving them cash handouts as they're directing them to infiltrate the peaceful protests and turn them violent. They're also accused of providing logistical support, such as transporting the hired individuals to demonstrate epicenters, such as the central business districts of major cities. The first politician from Nairobi is accused of mobilizing and hiring goons from Kibera, Madare, and Babadogo areas. The second politician from the capital city has allegedly been holding night meetings to plan for the demonstrations. The Rift Valley-based counterpart has been fingered for allegedly meeting youth at his house in Nairobi to oil the anti-government protests. The brief, seen by the nation, had names of the key suspects, which we have, however, withheld for legal reasons. The security brief also cites reasons for the alleged abductions that have been ongoing as the failure to obtain hard evidence of the suspects' logistical and financial connection to the protesters. Further, they are seeking to infiltrate the planning and coordination of the protests. But so far, they have to yield solid, actionable leads. This is according to interviews with multiple people familiar with the investigations. A special team of officers drawn from NIS and Directorate of Criminal Investigations has been fingered for effecting the brazen abductions. Find additional details on these developments on tomorrow's Daily Nation and on nation.africa.